guys. So it is that time again. It's time for me to share with you all my nail polish picks for March. I can't believe March is over already. Um, Easter is really, really quick here in a couple days, so happy Easter. Um, I'm just gonna jump right into it. This is where I show you all of the nail polishes that I chose to wear for the month. So it's quite a lot this month, actually. I changed my nails a ton. Um, so let's just jump right into it. The first nail polish that I wore this month is this Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Polish in On a Trip. It's number 213C. It's a really, really pretty purple shade. Nice. Purple's my all-time favorite color, and I was just drawn to this. I have my nail polish collection in a drawer, and when I go to paint my nails, I don't always really have a plan for what I want to put on them. I just kind of look through the drawer and see what calls to me, and this did. Um, I love this formula. I really love the brush on these Mega Last polishes. Let me see if I can show you without dripping nail polish everywhere. They're really, really large, so, you know, just a swipe or two across the nail and it's covered. Really easy to control. Um, these are probably one of my all-time, all-time favorite um, nail polish formulas. Really, really enjoyed this. After I was done with the purple, I decided that I wanted to rock a little pink, and so I chose another Wet n Wild polish. And this one I've used so much that the writing is actually a little bit worn off, but I believe this is just a Wet n Wild... What is What are these called? Um, shine something or another? I'm not really sure. Like I said, the writing is all worn off, but it's really, really pretty pink. It's called Tickled Pink. Um, light, baby pink, a good formula, like I said, not, um, you know, I really like the Wet n Wild formula, all of their polishes. Um, this particular one wasn't super sheer, so it applied in two coats and it covered, but I was feeling a little bit of something something, so I decided to do an accent nail with this gold. This is an e.l.f. polish called Gold Star, and it's a glitter top coat. Um, it's just really bright gold. Um, glitter. Sorry, I can't think today. And I layered this because it's a, just a top coat. It's not super um, opaque or anything. I layered this on top of Revlon's gold coin. So what I did is I did this on all of my nails except for my ring finger and I just applied a coat of this Revlon gold coin and this bright um, gold glitter on top and it made for a really, really nice um, pretty <clears throat> manicure. Sorry you guys, I don't know what my train of thought is doing today. I think it's outside enjoying the warmer weather because it's about 45 degrees out today. Um, anyways, <clears throat> after that I chose to use, I kept this same um, glitter accent nail because it was still looking good. It was like five or six days later and it hadn't chipped or anything and I was actually in a really big hurry when I redid my nails. So I kept that on my ring fingers and I just did this color by Sinful Colors and Savage all over the rest of my nails. And it's just a really pretty kind of teal green color. Um, very pretty. I like Sinful Colors polishes a lot because I think that they're very good formula for two dollars. You can't really beat the price. So that's what I did next. After I did that manicure, I decided to go for something quite a bit more neutral and demure. I used this Model City polish. I got this off an Etsy shop, and I will link that Etsy shop down below. And this is in the color Orange You Just Peachy, and it is a really, really, really neutral, um, kind of peachy orange shade. It looks almost nude on the nail. It's really beautiful. The formula on this was amazing. I was so shocked at how good this was. Um, it's got some iridescent shimmer. I apologize if you guys can hear my phone. It is going off like crazy today. Shut that off. Um, it's just a really, really nice formula. I highly recommend this um, Etsy shop. The color was great. And I have some more of these Model City polishes that I'm definitely intrigued to use now that I've used this one and like it so much. So that's what I did next. And on my toes, right around the same time, I only paint my toenails like once a month or so because they don't really need it quite as often obviously um, so anyways on my toes I decided to go with this Sally Hansen extreme wear nail color and this is in fuchsia power and it's just a really bright pink very nice I love it a lot you know what I did I skipped one you guys I'm so sorry I totally forgot to tell you guys about my St. Patrick's Day manicure so 
it was almost St. Patrick's Day and I was ready to redo my nails and I went with something kind of funky. I really didn't like this manicure to be honest. Um, but you know in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day I wore it for the day. Um, I did, you know it was festive but it was just kind of much for me. What I did was I used this Avon Nailwear Pro Nail Enamel and this is in the color Gleaming Gold. And on top of that, I layered this um, Shades of the Season Nail Enamel, this green glitter polish. Um, I got this in a set of like 10 different glitter polishes at, I believe, Walgreens or CVS around Christmas time last year, I believe. But I just layered that on top. And then because apparently that wasn't a glitter bomb enough, I went ahead and layered a layer of this um, Elf Gold Star on top of that so it was just kind of an explosion of green and gold glitter it was a little much like I said but it was fun um, I only wore it for a day or two which is why I forgot to mention it because I totally forgot about it um, but you know it worked out so that's that lastly for the month is the manicure that I've got on right now these are my Easter nails I'm really really excited what I did is on all of my nails except for my ring finger, I painted this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails um, nail polish. And this is in the color No Hard Feelings. It's just a really pretty like lilac purple. And on the ring finger, I did this Orly nail polish in Spark. It's a really pretty yellow. And you can see I got that on clearance. Um, and then I just took a, like a, I don't have a dotting tool, so I used like a little wooden skewer. And I did polka dots on all the nails. So the nails that I painted purple, I did yellow polka dots, and the nail that I painted yellow, I did purple polka dots, and that's what that looks like. I can show it to you because I still have it on. I just thought it was really fun, um, cute for Easter, cute for spring. I love these two colors together, especially around Easter. So, you know, it was fun. So that, I believe, is all of the nail polish that I wore for the month of March. So you guys can tell I used a lot of spring colors. I was also really into gold because I used gold in quite a few of my manicures. Um, you know, just fun. So those were my nail polish picks for March. Let me know down below the nail polishes that you guys chose to wear in the month of March or what nail polishes you're looking forward to wearing in April because I know there's a ton that I'm really looking forward to wearing in April. I can't wait to share those with you guys. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.